Hello, I'm Hyoga Kajitani. This is an instructional video on five different Kote Baza. Before putting on my gear, let me introduce some key points. There are five things I am aware of. First, the striking power. Second, the Te no Uchi when striking for hit sound and sharpness. Third, the speed after striking about Ashi Sabaki, Tai Sabaki. Fourth, precision of the technique. Fifth, stepping in with both feet together which I personally consider the most important. I think it's difficult to balance the strength of the strike with your Te no Uchi. Te no Uchi, the method of gripping the Shinai. A comprehensive term for the action of the hands in manipulation of the Shinai. If you try to hit the Kote more strongly, your Shinai will spend more time on the Kote and you will not get the sharpness you need. But if you try to be sharp, the strike will be light. You need to use both striking power and Te no Uchi to make a good strike. I think we have to practice and experiment with those in mind. Speed after striking needs to be experimented. In terms of strengthening your legs, how to shift the center of gravity, and handle your body. You can watch them in the slow motion video. So take a look at how I do Tai Sabaki and Ashi Sabaki after striking. As a reference. Ashi Sabaki. Footwork for delivering a strike or evading an attack. Tai Sabaki. The evasion of attack, or other advantageous position gained by body movement or through footwork. In terms of technical accuracy, it is also very important not to hit the Suba. Suba, a hilt guard used to protect the hands. When your Shinai hits the opponent's Suba, it makes a clash sound. The referee will judge that you did not hit the striking area of the Kote. On the other hand, if you hit the arm rather than the Suba, you'll have a better chance of getting Ipon. So practice with that in mind. Of course, the most important thing is to hit the striking area. So it is important to focus on this as you practice. So that you can strike Kote with one shot in a match. Finally, there's the awareness of stepping with both feet. I think one of the most important ways to speed up is to pull the left foot. If you attack without thinking anything, it slows down the pull of the left foot and does not improve the sharpness of the strike. Even if you are consciously trying to speed up the pull of your left foot. I personally think it will be faster if you step with both feet. Now let's get our gear on and practice Kote. What is this technique? Menkai Shido. Receiving the opponent's strike with your Shinai, then hit the opponent's Do. Menkai Shido. Kote from above. Please watch again in slow motion. Kote from below. Please watch again in slow motion. Men faint Kote first pattern. Please watch again in slow motion. Men faint Kote second pattern. Please watch again in slow motion.
Turn Cote. Please watch again in slow motion. Suppress Cote. Please watch again in slow motion. So, how was them? Kote from above. Kote from below. Two types of men faint Kote. Turn Kote. Suppress Kote. They are more like training videos than tutorial ones. Compared to your own Kote. Some will feel it slower than I thought. And some will feel wow, that was fast and it will vary. I believe that what is important is the types of techniques that you can use rather than the speed. In which situations do you use men faint kote? Against what kind of players is turn kote effective? And so on. It will be important to think about it. And there are many other types of kote techniques. Suppress men faint kote. Faint men from below kote. Kote men faint kote. Kote Kote, Deflect Kote, there are many other more. I am planning to make another video about these techniques. Hope you're looking forward to it. So, thank you for watching until the end.